Elon Musk's neurotech startup Neuralink has successfully implanted one of its devices in a human for the first time on Sunday. Elon Musk's brain chip company Neuralink has shown its first patient moving a cursor on a computer using an implanted device. Noland Arbaugh uses the cursor to play chess online after being paralyzed below the shoulders and receiving the chip implant in January. The company's goal is to connect human brains to computers to help tackle complex neurological conditions. The firm successfully implanted a chip on its first human patient last month, after receiving approval for human trial recruitment in September. The study uses a robot to surgically place a brain-computer interface implant in a region of the brain that controls the intention to move. No, at this juncture about the significance of this. Yeah, not too much, honestly. Basically, just what, what Elon Musk had kind of tweeted, saying that uh, they did the first implant, uh, the patient's recovering well, and they're starting to see uh, some uh, signals, neuron spike detection is what he said, uh, from the device itself. That This is supposed to uh, eventually be something that will allow people to interact with their devices, whether that's you know, smartphones, laptops, things like that. He said uh, in a post, imagine if Stephen Hawking could uh, be able to communicate more quickly than uh, the technology that he previously used, which I, I believe was uh, eye tracking. Musk has grand ambitions for Neuralink, saying it would facilitate speedy surgical insertions of its chip devices to treat conditions like obesity, autism, depression, and schizophrenia. Neuralink's device, which is about the size of a one pound coin, is inserted into the skull with microscopic wires which can read neuron activity and beam back a wireless signal to a receiving unit. The company has also run trials in pigs and claimed that monkeys can play a basic version of the video game Pong. Neuralink was given permission to test the chip on humans by the Food and Drug Administration in May 2023. For example, the École Polytechnique Federale in Lausanne in Switzerland has successfully enabled Gert Jan Oskam, who is paralyzed, to walk just by thinking about the movements involved. That was achieved by putting electronic implants on Mr. Oscom's brain and spine, which wirelessly communicate thoughts to his legs and feet. Musk has said that Neuralink's ultimate goal is to achieve a symbiosis with artificial intelligence, but for now he's starting with a far more modest aim, allowing paralyzed people to control a cursor or keyboard with their brains. Here is what he says about it. Like, sort of pounce on us overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll, you'll, you'll see it coming. It's going to be very slow. In fact, I, I really think that... Um, Artificial general intelligence or digital superintelligence is likely to arrive before we have really advanced neural links. At least that's where the trend is right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, but, but ultimately the idea would be to achieve a symbiosis between our biological mind and our kind of digital mind. Neuralink is one of a growing number of companies and university departments attempting to refine and ultimately commercialize this technology, and Elon Musk wants to eventually combine the human and computer together in some type of fashion. We will have to see how the trials go in the future. I hope this technology can provide some form of relief for those that are paralyzed or have serious mobility issues. I hope you enjoyed this video and please smash the like button. Until next time, take care.